Hey, good morning. This is Don Rose. It's February 1st, January 31st, one of those, um, 2012. And I'm recording a little something for my friend Michelle. Um, she asked me several years ago to tape a little something for a class she was doing, which I did late one evening. I was living in Chandler, Arizona at the time. And um, I thought it would be helpful to do a little follow-up. So as I type this, I know this is, I love living on the edge, but I'm driving to work, so don't mind me if I'm paying attention to the road and talking at the same time. It's probably better for all of us. I'm now living in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, I am several years past um, where I was last time. And I, I think I'm a much different person. Uh, I like to think that people continually change. This whole notion of transition is, is some kind of a time-boxed thing that's somehow only available to trans people, I find to be kind of small thinking um, that life is all about transitions and change from one thing to another thing. Uh, we formally express this process of, of moving from A to B as a transition, and so certainly in my gender journey, um, it has been an interesting thing. But I also have come to appreciate and understand that it, it doesn't end uh, for me, which is not a bad thing. Uh, in, the, in the trans community, how you come to peace with yourself and your realities or your perceived realities is key to just finding peace. And so there are no hard, fast rules in that regard. So this whole notion of, of the labels and definitions of what I am or, or who I need to be to other people, I, I, I find the single most precious thing that I've gained in all of this is freedom. I don't, I don't feel constrained. So on one hand, I've got a very active career. Right now I'm doing a very large project for the Department of Defense, so going through security clearance, I'm working with the military and just doing some way, way cool stuff. My career has never been more fun and interesting to me, um, which is something uh, to say at, at my stage of life, I will be 53 years old in three weeks. Um, I'm wrestling uh, competitively and actively training for the United States uh, Olympic team trials. Whether I make it or not is a whole other deal, but I trained out at the Citadel Military Academy. Um, I have a coach. I, I have um, sparring partners from the team. They accept me. They Do they know? I don't know. I don't go through life wondering who knows and who doesn't know because it's, it's not that big a deal. But at the same time, I, I don't ever want to forget if that makes sense. Because my journey has helped define me. That's, that's the, the crux of the matter. So if I use a label to define myself, I, I'm a trans woman. Um, I am. I always will be. So those who say, well, I used to be trans, but now I'm a woman. I've got that. Works for you. God bless you. Um, there are people who tell me that as long as I except the trans, that I'm somehow less than or other than, um, or diminished by. I don't buy that either. And I don't care if others do. But in my world, what I've experienced makes me as much as, or different than, or unique um, among, you can find your own words, but I really don't care, you know, how other people choose to, to express or validate or, or justify their own lives or their own existences. Or it's when they start judging other people, that's when you cross my boundaries. 
minute you start to make yourself feel good by belittling or otherwise um, pathologizing others who are different than you, it's, it's the minute you're just like them. That's, that's it. And you, you don't have to you call it nice things. You don't want to call yourself a bigot. You don't want to call yourself a hater. You don't want to call yourself um, a phobe. But in a lot of cases, you are. Again, you, you shouldn't care about what I think you, um, in the same sense, I really don't care what you think of me. The single most important concept in my life. And the beauty here now at 53 in Charleston, Arizona, um, with a career and uh, an athletic career and um, friends and a very comfortable sense of self and um, an active social life, is that I feel I've found that. That Maslow's hierarchy of needs mountain that seems to hold promise of self actualization for everybody. That to me seems the goal of life, regardless of where you are, who you are. Um, finding that, experiencing it, if, even for a short while, because it doesn't stay. That's the way it works. It's, is the key to all of this. And if you miss that, then you miss the boat. I wouldn't have been able to express this 10 years ago. I find that your transition, your life transitions, help define you because they help shape your um, experience of the world. And through your experience of the world, you have a clearer understanding both of how you interact with it and how it interacts with you. So, you know, this, this ongoing process of getting to know myself and getting to know what I like or getting to know what I need at any point in time, because it changes. Life is like tide. Life is like standing on a sand bar and the tide's coming in have a good foothold for a while, but in a bit, the sandbar will be no longer. The sand will be underwater, the sand will, will wash away, and so people ask me if I'm happy, and I am, but happy to me is a transient emotion. I'm happy, I'm sad, um, I get both of those, but by and large, I'm very fulfilled. So, I've used a lot of what I'll call high-level words, <laughs> balance, fulfillment, self-actualized, they, they are terms for concepts, and it's the concepts that are the fundamental goal here. I don't want to sound like a psychologist, I don't want to get all into jumbo, but frankly it's those concepts that are at the heart of the various components of doing what I've done. So here I am. It's a beautiful South Carolina morning and going to work, doing stuff for the Navy. Loving it. Gonna go to the gym later. Might have dinner with some friends. Um, the days are full. And frankly, I sometimes pinch myself. Because I never imagined that this was an option for me. But people like me. But it didn't happen by itself. None of this happened. Work. I have these opportunities to 
come to the sense of peace, or to at least make sense in my own head of this stuff. Um, and so all of that being said, this is Donna, 2012. Say hello to Michelle, my belle. 